draggle the beard. Damn. When's the next bus to Cheadle? There isn't one. It's bank holiday Monday. It was clear to me from the look in Mike's eyes that this was no trick. There really were no buses. How else could we get into town for a drink? The thought of a night without beer left a dry taste in my mouth and a caustic feeling in my gut. Questions were flying through my head. Why didn't I buy more? Why didn't I drink it slower? And why hadn't I started on my dad's? There was no way of getting to Cheadle by road, for the shops would be closed before we arrived. We both knew there was only one answer to our problem. There was no alternative. We're going to have to cut straight through. You mean? Yeah. We're going to have to go through the forest. It seemed like fate. Why did we have to run out of drink on a bank holiday? There was no choice anyway. It was settled. We had to attempt the journey. The two possible outcomes, death or beer. against my skin made me tense. It seemed we both had a similar eerie predisposition about the whole thing, but neither of us would say. With every step I took, I felt more and more anxious. The fear building up inside me, I could see that Mike was just as scared, although trying not to let it show. I was scared. I was trying best not to let Liam see my fear. After they took Mike's lover, the whole subject of the creatures that lay in the forest tended to be a taboo area.
ますね。